Junk and Fool over here in Porville. Hope everybody's having a good day. I've been working on the old dump truck here. Uh, put a new distributor in. And a new module. And actually, I put the distributor in and I tried it. And it still didn't get spark. So... Basically, I put this in, and the other one was probably good, but it was cheap enough, so I think I'm good for quite a few miles. And I wondered about that. That's why I ordered both of them. So I've got the radiator out, too. And i got a small leak in that, so I'm going to take it to the radiator shop and have them fix it. And I'm going to replace these hoses right here, or these uh, fan belts. And yeah, there's power steering and the alternator and water pump belt there. So I'm going to replace both of them. I've got the belt for this uh, pump, but I'm not sure. I may put that back on. I think that's in good shape. A little breezy today. We've got the radiator out leaking someplace right in there. It seems like pretty solid. in uh, that old antifreeze which there wasn't much in there it's mostly water but I'll put that in, probably roll it up into the um, like an old pillow or something let it soak it in and put that to the garbage that's probably the best way to get rid of that or something so I got a time miss yet I gotta put the old timing light on it I got a few of them around I haven't used them in a while and I've got a bunch of extra parts if I ever need them Yeah, I guess I'll have to go get the keys. Yeah, so I got the, this. I assume this is good yet. The pickup coil. So I can always keep that in the glove box. They're, they're kind of a pain to put in, especially if you're broke down on the road. The newer, the one I just got has uh, like Allen screws so you can pull them off right there. It's a little breezy today. I'll be right back. Let's try again. Yeah, I moved the loader over here. Tire goes low. Yeah, I've got a new tube, but it's quite the job to put it in there. It goes low about once a month. Oh, there's a bee in here. Let me know if he stings me. Maybe I'll open the door. See if it goes out. I got a squeak back in this exhaust. I'm gonna fix that, but it's time pretty close. I got a vacuum leak at the back too. One of those you need a little plug for that. I, I think I just got one on a distributor. So. so that distributor and that module was like uh, 80 bucks. 70 bucks. I usually like having a lot of stuff around old parts, trucks and what have you so I can uh, not buy that stuff. I can kind of just switch parts around until I figure out what's wrong with it. But Yeah, so I got an extra cap and pickup coil. And then there's some old mirrors I want to put on here. I don't want to put mirrors on here. They don't really show you much room. Got my Ooga horn there. It's going to go on here. And a 
pretty much got the old distributor. I could probably, I could probably weld that where it's pulled through there. Just have to make sure it would time up, which it should. If I could, should be able to get the timing anyway. But I just thought it was easier just to buy a new one. That's the way it goes. Now these modules, through the other one over here. When these vehicles were common, I used to pick up an extra one of these. You can see where this one has got like a really, maybe you can see if the sun ain't. It's got like a lot of tar on it. And it's, I noticed that when I, after I ordered the distributor, I thought I better order that too, just in case. I was thinking it was a pickup coil, but I put that on, the distributor on, and ended up putting uh, this in because it still wouldn't fire up. So luckily I'd had it. And, you can see there's a new one and down there you can see where there was stuff actually running out of it and I wasn't sure if I had uh, oil up there because a lot of times I go around to oil the hinges up and different things when I get a vehicle or working on one so yeah that was that was coming out of this old module here you see these are pretty cheap about 20 bucks 18 bucks I usually order stuff for free shipping. So we're planning on eventually trying to get this all ready to go and driving it. Um, did put that new power steering line on it. The cap is not or the distributor is not tight quite yet. I'm going to put a timing light on it. I'm going to fix that vacuum leak back there. And I think I'm going to replace the belts on it. Before I put the radiator in. And I'm going to have the radiator pressure tested. And yeah, I'm glad to have it run. At least I can move it around now. And we got a little bit of breakage of lunum in there. Everybody's having a good day. Get in here out of the wind. See if that bee left. Yeah, we got bees all over here this time of year. I was trying to get in my loader the other day and they were chasing me away. Got the battery tied onto this thing. radiator supports try to keep the stuff in here because sometimes I tend to forget about it so I don't know if the radiator shops open tomorrow or not today's Friday so I probably have to wait until Monday one thing about this being a stick I could move it out of the way if I needed to just run it I won't go down the road with it or anything but I'll kind of Kind of want to get this thing and start uh, getting rid of some of this scrap around here. The prices are looking pretty good. Got to start it. It's just be a lot easier to... Most of the stuff I can load with the back. Oh, I got a bunch of stuff out there ready to load. And then uh, I can just dump it when I get there. That's half the battles on loading. And not getting stung by the bee. Hope everybody's having a good day. Thanks for stopping by. Be back later. Tomorrow maybe. Goodbye.